Icon, we've been uh, seeing you walking backstage and in Radek for a couple of days now. Are you having a good time here? Yo, this is the best show ever. Like, hip hop camp, I don't want to go home ever. Like, um, me and Yara Bravo, we've been just running around like after the main stage is over and just like taking over any hangar or whatever, just like rocking impromptu sets and shit. It's been so much fun. Like, the crowd is showing so much love. I don't want to go home. It's the bottom line. Oh, for sure they know me. They heard me on the dot DRE or the dilated D. Wait a hoo yo G. I truly yo G. At least five times I did you know what Rest in peace, nigga B. You believed in me. Can you be proud of me? Cause they said they heard me worldwide. You're not on the major. Can I did you survive? Cause I'm built for this shit. Built for the hop. Too skilled to even contemplate. Let it pop. I pop you in your crazy ass chest. Don't ever get it twenty, my nigga. I'm Jerry West, West, Los Angeles best. Check out a dude, this guy will be on before I die. Net.com on the box I try. All the guest appearances, all the spots I rock. Uh, yesterday, DJ Revolution uh, played a three-hour set yeah. at the Nokia Hangar, yeah. and uh, you were on the speaker dancing in front of the crowd. I didn't know you were a professional dancer, man. <laughs> Yeah, I just, yeah, I mean, I just be having fun, and, yeah, I mean, like, y'all be dancing, and that makes me want to dance, so, and then motherfuckers be like, yo, you can dance, so I be like, hey, I just do what the music tell me, yeah, I mean, it's nothing, I'm the best rapper ever, I ain't the best dancer ever. Like in the city stuff, go on, watch smells up, fully up, OB, in the city, get drunk, that good ghetto dude, burn cheese, blow tree, do my shit to charm in me, so I'm simply, Nike head lifted, zigzag flipped it, I told that boom, Liquid junkies is a ticket. I told Vinny B, man, this shit don't stop. We the founders of this FBB hip hop. I told Phil to ask people along on their way. Tell him I'm also loving that strong, steady gang. The far right is a package of weight. Packing the gates, when a leash smack in your face. The far right is a ton of the hunt, a million or one. The odds I'd overcome, but a million more hate, a million more weight. Regardless, and I'm state to state. You see a lady. The first place, I'm shit. Me and Biddy be up in the game in the first place. West West Coast finest, that dude timeless. That brother run with the lions. In your ear, stay the sharpest. Crisp like lettuce from the market. Yeah, it don't, don't stop. You don't stop. You don't stop. Keep on. Last time we talked to you in Holland, you performed at a show in The Hague, yeah. and there weren't that many people. Though. Man, it was like it was like 30 people there, but it was crazy because we we got there and um, there's a line out the door. We're like, oh shit, we got this crazy packed festival. Ronnie Size is playing next door and shit, <laughs> so they all going to see him. But then he was done before we were done, so everybody over there came to our show. So we had, we had probably like a hundred or so people before it was over. But I mean, it was still fun. You know what I mean? Like. Like, that was my that was my first time in Holland or whatever. Um, I mean that was my first time in Europe in November, so I love it here. I'm, I'm thinking about moving to Berlin and just touring six months out of the year and going back home and touring six months. Keep doing it because that's what I love to do. out there listening to me. I want to do 360 shows a year. I am not fucking around. So if you want to see a hot, crazy, energetic performance, holla at your boy, man. I'm, I'm being so serious right now. So, so serious. Why you and me and what they don't see? It's said why you and me and what they don't see? The harder we sleep, the harder it be. You might be about it and she, but we get up and leave. We love them up, please, but I want plenty more.
hip-hop game you performed on the Thursday, which yeah. was kind of like the pre-party. Right, right, right. It was raining cats and dogs out there. But yo, there was still like 600 people there. It was crazy. Like, they showed so much love. Like, I ended up uh, stage diving like three times. I was doing my Method Man thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm like swimming over the crowd like with the mic and shit. It's fucking nuts. So, like, I had so much fun that day. So, that's why me and Yara just been running around doing whatever hanging will let us have it. You know what I mean? Like, we be like, well, sure, we'll be a DJ spinner. We were like, yo, we're trying to rock. Get us a mic. Boom. And all of a sudden, it's a party again. So, I'm just having so much fun, man. I can't stop smiling while I'm out here. Is that like yesterday? I see American rappers uh, exchanging phone numbers and stuff like that. Is, it, is there a difference if you hook up in the states or if you it's hook a big up difference, in Europe? It's a big difference, because like you come to, you come to Europe and everybody's like speaking different languages. It's a culture shock in a way. And like you see somebody you know from back home or you know of from back home, it makes you feel mad comfortable. Like for example, I'm pretty cool with Wordsworth. Like I see him all the time. He works with my cousin Pack FM a whole lot. But like we we talk here and there. But like when I seen him here, he was like, "Yo, what up, Icon?" You know what I mean? Like we was really building on some shit because it was like a familiar face. So it was just real good to see him. And it's like, yeah, you know I mean, it, it makes that bond stronger. So like even Defaro, I don't I don't really know Defaro like that, but. I did a show with him in Budapest, and he remembered me. He's like, oh, what up, son? Like, how you doing? You know what I mean? So it, it, it's just a, a more familiar vibe when you out here with a whole bunch of people you don't know, and you see somebody you kind of know. So it, it makes it stronger. <laughs> What? 
Oké, okay. MOP gaf echt een fantastische show. We probeerden ze nog te pakken te krijgen voor een interview, maar er waren heel veel fans die een handtekening wilden en op de foto wilden, dus dat ging helaas niet door. Uh, ja, dan is nu het moment om Hip Hop Camp 2007 even samen te vatten. Eigenlijk hebben we heel veel toffe dingen gezien. Um, we waren voornamelijk enthousiast over de Amerikaanse acts, uh, EMC, Black Milk, Bahamadia, uh, MOP uiteraard. Redman was ook fantastisch. Als ik nou eens kijk naar de dingen die een beetje tegenvielen, dan... Ik denk dat de Heijs-redactie het wel eens is over Helter Skelter. Dat was nog wel een, een dieptepunt. Die gaven niet echt een fantastische show. Uh, de beats spreken wel voor zich. Die zijn enorm beukend. Maar ja, ik weet niet, Sean P die uh, stond er een beetje bij en uh, hij keek er maar naar. Verder uh, ook wel een absoluut hoogtepunt. Dat was uh, DJ Revolution. Die gaf echt een fantastische DJ set. Um, een ander... Enigszins dieptepunt wat me nu ook te binnen schiet, dat zijn de breakdance battles. Dat, ja, dat vond plaats in een hangar met TL-lichten en ik weet niet, die vibe was er niet echt. Uh, de afterparties zijn altijd echt uh, waanzinnig geweest. Je kan echt tot, nou, we hebben echt een aantal keren gewoon tot zonsopgang uh, uh, gerokt. Uh, een beetje dansen, partyen in uh, zo'n tent. En nu hoor je op de achtergrond een soort crunk music als ik me niet vergis. Dan gaan we ook nog eventjes kijken. Maar uh, dan zit voor ons uh, Hip Hop Camp 2007 op. Het waren echt krankzinnige dagen en uh, het was gewoon bananen. Maximus, peace out. Hip Hop is small.